placed a little bit over there. He said, these are, the, in the middle of these some sections, these are the introducing or the pointing out the teaching of Dzogchen. That is what he said. Pointing out the teaching of the Dzogchen practices. That is. Generally, again, in Dzogchen teaching, what is called the Dzogchen teaching, with instruction teaching can be divided, not can be, it is known as two great practices. Tukchu practices and the Toga practices. Two practices. Tukchu and the Toga. Tukchu is a Tibetan word which you have, many of you already know, but cutting thoroughly. Cutting thoroughly. What means cutting thoroughly all the purification of the duality? Instantly. Cutting thoroughly. That teaching technique is known as Tukchu teachings. And then there is another teaching, Dokchi teaching, known as the Togar teachings. Leaping over teaching or instantly leaping over teachings. These two teachings are, what are they generally? They are both our nature of our mind. The emptiness aspect of our nature of the mind or the Dharmakaya nature is explained clearly, beautifully, thoroughly. That teaching is known as Tukchu teaching. Dharmakaya teaching. <clears throat> Dharmakaya nature of the mind. Dharmakaya nature of the mind is emptiness, unimpeded. That nature, I mean, we went so many times, you know that. That is. And then this nature of the mind has another aspect, clarity aspect. Clarity aspect of teaching is known as Toga practices. This Toga teaching is the nature of the mind, clarity aspect of nature of the mind. Both are nature of the mind, is in separable states. This particular teaching, Kharnikyola, or this teaching, what we are going through, is teachings on the Tchu, or teachings on the Dharmakaya emptiness nature of the mind. We are exploring our nature of the mind. Mind. And here, see, Again, said, it is the important outer teaching of the Dzogchi Tukchu teachings. <coughs> now, Tukchu teaching can be, again, I can bring up that the statement, the thought, to make clear, kind of clear, and there's quite a, maybe one of few people, maybe just yes, quite new. So, what Tukchu teaching? Summarized by the many great masters, but one of the very famous, renowned ones, summarized by great master Garab Dorji. Garab Dorji's teaching, Tukchu, all teaching, Tukchu teaching, summarized in the three words. That's what called Siksam Nebde, pointing out of the three word teachings, or three, three word teachings of three words. And the first is what? Introducing or the pointing out nature of the mind. Pointing out, and that is again, and many of you know what it is, Mora Toto Teva. Mo Rantoto Tepa. Mo means what in Tibet? Ever use the word by word. Mo means pass. Pass. I mean, our pass. Ranto means, Ranto means within its own self. Within own. Within own. Self. Tepa means introducing or pointing out. So pointing out one's own pass or nature, its own net, its own status. Status. One's own, one's own status. So that means, again, to my commentary, our nature, your nature, mind, is pointing out to yourself or to ourself. To ourself. This nature is not pointing outside to the mountain or the moon or the sun or the star. Pointing out to your own nature, our own nature of the mind. What that nature is known as generally in the Buddha's terminology is Tathangatangarbha, Buddha nature that you heard many times. Pointing out that Buddha nature, this Buddha nature, pointing out. This Buddha nature is, <coughs> is ordinary nature. Means it's your our nature, each of our nature originally. It it been with us from the what in the Buddha's teaching is it from the beginningless times. 
Purun the beginless. There is no even times that we can put. Purun the beginless times. Until now, it's here, right here. That is pointing <coughs> out. That is pointing. That is showing us that. Now, this nature, nature of mind, or this mind, has two aspects. Have we looked at? There is samsara aspect, nirvana aspect, or is it what is it called? Alaya aspect and the dharmakaya aspects. This time, what is pointed out is the dharmakaya point nature of the mind, not the alaya or in the Dzogchi teaching conception, not pointing out the conception, pointing out our own innate nature of, of Dharmakaya, which in other terminology is the Tathagata Garbha, Buddha nature. Buddha nature. Nature. That is the one it is. How that is, how is that Dharmakaya nature is? Or what is the difference between now conception or the conception and the Dharmakaya, or the ally and the Dharmakaya? Dharmakaya is the source of all the enlightenment in the pure land, for example. That. What is the alaya? Alaya is the source of all samsaras. Samsaras. Alaya is the source of samsara. And the dharmakaya is the source of nirvana, every use word. Where these both are, within the mind, there is no difference. Difference at all. What is the alaya? Alaya or the subconscious the storehouse, it is the very basic source of the very beginning of the dualities. Dualities. That's how it begins, begins the samsara disciplines. When we are freed from out of that nature to where? Within that nature, within that space of Dharmakaya, when you free, that is known as Dharmakaya. When you free that, that is the source of all the nirvanas. So this time, what is pointing out? We are, on, or the, the Garab Dorje or the Dzogchi teaching is pointing out us directly to that authentic nature of the Dharmakaya, which is never diluted by the dualities. Cannot be diluted by dualities. Cannot, and will not, and is not. That nature is pointing out. What is now? What is that nature? Dharmakaya nature is the rupa. That's in, in a Zoki teaching, Urva teaching says rupa. What this rupa is? First rupa or dharmakaya is the original nature, as I said many times. And the teaching said is the basic foundation or basic you know, the original nature of the Saman Bhadra. What are Saman Bhadra? Your own Saman Bhadras. We went at the beginning of the this Karnakyal of teaching, there is five Samana Badras can be divided. The foundation Samana Badra, Path Samana Badra, and Resort Samana Badra, and Buddha Samana Badra, inherited Samana Badras. Five different Samana Badras, we went through those, those things. This is the basic Samana Badra of each of us. We all have this nature. This. <coughs> this if, if some of the Badr is what? Na how that nature is. As I said many times, in the minute I'm a great master, it's always said in Kenji Padre Hiram, which said to you, unimpeded, transparent, free from all the complexities, free from all the extremes. Think of those words. It, this is not just a wording. It's exploring the each deep meaning of the, it, our nature. Each of those words, <laughs> explain, and inexpressible, inconceivable. That is your nature, and that is my nature. That is everyone's nature. That is what the Garab Dorji is pointing out. Hey, we all, we all have that nature. This is, in this level, the Buddha Shakyamuni and our self and the small cockroaches, cockroaches, cockroaches has no difference. 
No difference. Nature is the same. Oh, Marx. No difference. All is the same. Nature, the best. That's what I mean. Join the prayer of <coughs> some of the brother. What is it? I and all the sentient beings share the same nature. When you join the prayer of Kundazam, same nature. There's no difference. This is the, what we have to recognize. If we didn't recognize this nature when we meditate, then our path will be not recognized. Or is diluted. Our achievement will be diluted too. So therefore, number one, here in the teaching, said here too, here is in this teaching, teachings, teaching said, it's very important, he said. This, I mean, we didn't come here after that, but at the end of this song said, this is very important. We didn't recognize the view perfectly, it looks like mixing up the day one. In the Tibetan lunar calendar, if day one is mixed up, then here he, great master said, then the, all the days will be mixed up until the full moons. Full moons. And uh, this is the sunrise, this story said, the one, nomad, nomad person, nomad person, kind of like said, oh, this today is the first day, first day or second day, something he said, said, but full moons are shining in the night time, right there, full moon. So it's full moon, but for him, who he said, today is, he starts saying that, until the moon comes, he starts saying, say it is a second or third or something, days he said that, because he mixed up the dates, dates he mixed up. Similarly like this, if we mix up the will, we will mix up the path, and we will mix up the achievement. Therefore, will is very important. And what is will? Again, is unimpeded, emptiness, openness, vastness, inconceivable, inexpressible, unborn, unseen. How clearly Buddha Shakyamuni said, one after another, this gracious teacher said. This, like, as I said before, this is not just a kind of mythology, a story, or telling something, fairy tale, other side. We can experience our own inner intelligence, wisdom, find out it's true or not. Right here. Put it through the Madhima teaching and generally the Sutra Buddha teaching, kind of looks like you have to investigate outside to find you have to be very intelligent, kind of all started thoroughly all this. But this time is pointing out and struggling, rediscovering all that nature, all that we be attracted right with our heart, right, right with our mind. Ask us, is true or not? Nature of mind is inconceivable or not? Ask us. Nature of a mind is inexpressible? Ask us. Nature of mind is unborn, unseasoned, or beyond the unborn, unseasoned? Ask us. It's true or not? This is very important. Again, here, Great Master, we should build the certainty of wisdom to the view, intelligent, certainty of wisdom, confidence, truly see it is as it is. This wisdom, now this ordinary nature of this Garabdot is one point out, the first one. Which it, then it also can be introduced as what? Three wisdoms. As I said the other day, or sometimes that many of you know this. It's called the, the wisdom of the great emptiness, wisdom of the clarities. Wisdom is a union. Union. What that means? When you look to this nature of the mind, when you look to inner, our, to gather our nature of the mind, it's so empty, it's so open, it is a vastness, as I said so many times. That is wisdom. That is wisdom. That is intelligence. That is wisdom. So this is called wisdom of the emptiness. Or wisdom of emptiness of dharmakayas. Dharmakaya wisdom of the emptiness. And then this emptiness is not blank emptiness, not negation status, not black hole. It is fullness, clarity. That is wisdom, clarity wisdom, which is known as in Dzogchi teaching, what? Sambhokaya wisdom. This is Sambhokaya wisdom. And then this clarity and emptiness is union. 
There is no separation that we can make difference. That is known as a union. That is also known as a pervasive energy. Tugya, or the pervasive intelligence of compassion. Compassion. That is a wisdom. So this nature of the mind, your nature of the mind, my nature of the mind, everyone's nature of the mind is within three kaya states. Three kaya states. Three wisdom states. Three kaya states. Status. This is. So therefore, this is the East original Buddha. Original awakening Buddha Samadha Buddha. Now we should must be recognized. We should must be be happy, joy to discover this nature. Want, we be wondering in the samsara why? Because we didn't recognize, we didn't keep up that nature, call it as it is. We delude it. Delude it. So that is really about the first introduced the point of the Morato, uh, the Bhagavad Dorji's first word, Morato the trouble, is right here. That is right here. Now the